Hey guys, this is our study and welcome to Comic Space and with Marvel Studios presentation at this year's San Diego Comic Con where they did not reveal not too much about Phase 6 or Phase 7 or about the Mutant Saga or anything like that but we did get um, some major glimpse and revelation for some of the upcoming projects like Brave New World and Thunderbolts and with some of these major exclusive footage that we got for both of the projects as it looks like there's going to be some major changes in the power shift of the MCU especially with Thunderbolt Ross building the new Avengers and obviously with Val building her own teams of Thunderbolts and somehow it actually implies that Val is could be the one who actually bought the Avengers star. So what is exactly going on with the MCU's power shift and obviously again there's so many things to talk about the multiverse side of the MCU with the multiverse saga and a lot of things going on and obviously with RDJ student to the MCU as Victor freaking Von Doom. So again i think we are going to take a step back from all of that multiversal stuff and also focus on about some much more street level side of the mcu and then major power shift that is about to happen so i think one of the major takeaways from san diego comic con was brave. that was an exclusive brave new world footage that was shown at the presentation as it also officially confirms that adamantium is going to be part of the film it is probably going to be the central point of the film and moving forward with the story and and it also confirms that Marvel Studios is finally connecting the dots between the Celestial Tiamat and the Adamantium with Adamantium being extracted from Tiamat and obviously that is going to lead to in some major power conflicts within the MCU for sure. And as we also know that from the CinemaCon footage that Thunderbolt Ross is also going to ask Sam to build the new Avengers team which is again I think it is going to be very crucial especially like after year after New Brave World we are going to head straight into Doomsday. But again, I think that is the one thing that is probably going to take a step back. We will kind of circle back to the building of the new Avengers, but also coming back to Adamantium, which is going, obviously going to be the center point. And especially with the projects like Wakanda Forever, we know that how much the whole world is kind of looking forward to precious metals like Vibranium and Adamantium is going to be answered of that to the whole world because Tiamat is sitting in the international waters with no one actually having an official control over it. Because again, I think that is the quite central point and with all of the stuff with Red Hulk and building the new Avengers team, that is obviously going to be featured in the film, but it is not going to be the forefront of the film. And especially with Ayn Cadlo Esposito's addition to the cast has been sidewinded and again that character has been drastically changed in the live action adaptation. It is very different in the comics. But again, I think the Adamant team is probably going to be taking the central stage here and with Obviously, we are going to have the leader, which I think it is probably going to connect to a lot more the, to the Red Hulk storyline that they are going to feature. The key thing here is that Adamantium is probably going to be a much more stronger meter than Vibranium. Because we also have an official poster for the film, which also tells you that, it, that Vibranium is no longer the strongest metal on the earth. And it is obviously going to dethrone by Adamantium. And I think that's why it is going to be so much important moving forward. And it, we also think that uh, at the end of this film, we are actually going to see Sam getting a completely new suit and probably a new shield made of adamantium and he's no longer using vibranium because again and also to add to that I think again I think Marvel Studios have done in quite in great work and they have somehow changed it, the whole Captain America franchise into this kind of political aspect of the MCU to kind of focus a lot more with Winter Soldier even with Civil War and also with Brave New World and which somehow that whole franchise have just become this sort of inspired Spinoz franchise with obviously the stakes of the MCU level. But again, I think one of the key things here is that we are obviously going to see Thunderbolt Ross changing into Red Hulk for sure. Which again, I don't think so is probably going to be the main storyline. It That is also going to be a much more inside storyline with Adamantium taking the feature and obviously the leader. And I think all of the things are probably going to be on in much more of inside but also correlating at some way. Even how that Thaddeus Ross have become president, I don't think so his term is actually going to be that much longer with him actually turning into Red Hulk and again there is just going to be a lot of things going on. Before we head into Thunderbolts and talked about Val and, and her buying the Avengers star, uh, we also need to talk about building the new Avengers team because the footage that was shown at CinemaCon, it is seen that obviously President Ross is looking forward to building the new Avengers team. And I mean that is the basically the same guy who also signed on the Sokovia Accords but as the current timeline of 616 continuity sits, the Sokovia Accords has been repealed and however again like I said it is not going to be the central point of the film 
At the end, we are also expecting Wong to be shown up in Captain America New Brave World also to help Sam build up the new Avengers which is again like I said because after Fantastic Four there is nothing in between that so we are gonna head straight into Doomsday. So again coming back to Thunderbolts with all of the insights that we have got for the Thunderbolts it looks like Val is also making her own team and it is just not much more about making a superhero right team but it is also about the change of power. Julius Dreyfus herself actually pointed that out. So I think with Thunderbolt Ross looking forward to making his own Avengers team and obviously, and obviously the establishing Avengers but also well as the CIA director also looking forward to make her own team and as she believes she can build in much more better team than Thunderbolt Ross and I think that is obviously gonna be one of the things with all of these new teams being established with nothing being clear with Val establishing her new Thunderbolt team we do have in quick shot the footage that was shown at Comic Con it looks to be that the Thunderbolts are going to be regrouping in Avengers Star, which also obviously lets to believe that Val is the one who actually bought the Avengers Star and is now controlling it. However, she being an CIA director, she probably haven't bought the tower, but she for sure have an access to Avengers Star by whoever have bought the tower. Because again, I don't think so. Val is actually going to be the one who actually bought the whole Avengers Star. It can be the under of surveillance of CIA or damage control. So again, these are going to be the two major projects that are going to focus a lot more on a much more grounded side of the MCU with all of the political aspects involved and the control of the power and the power shift that we are going to see within the MCU. Because after that, we are gonna head straight into the multiverse stuff with the Secret Wars, with Road to Secret Wars, I think with the Fantastic Four will officially begins with the Fantastic Four film. So I think it is time for me to see you guys off. Well, that's it for this one, guys. But before you go, you can consider to grab the subscribe and share miss out on any of the latest Marvel or DC update. I'm so glad that you guys got the time to hear me out. Thanks for listening to me. This is your host, Adi, signing off. See you in the next one.